Curry and McLaughlin, some of the most renowned athletes, say, What I have in Christ is far greater than anything else. With a few seconds of official playing time left, and Curry pulls up for a three-pointer, the buzzer goes off and the game is over. In the final seconds of the game, Curry scores his team into victory. Reaching the absolute top of the world is something that only a few will ever get to experience. Only one will win the Olympic gold medal, and only one will lead their basketball team to the coveted NBA championship. Athletes who reach the absolute top earn a lot of money and are held in high regard by many. This makes it difficult for the athletes to keep both feet on the ground. In this episode, we will look at the testimonies of Stephen Curry and Sidney McLaughlin. Despite their success, they still continue to give the glory all back to Jesus Christ. Romans 8.37 Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Everyone who believes in Jesus Christ is more than victorious. The example of an athlete is used several times in the Bible. Athletes dedicate their entire lives to their sport to win the gold medal or to take home the championship with their teammates. In 2021, Sydney McLaughlin won two gold medals at the Tokyo Olympic Games. She said, Let me start off by saying what an honor it is to be able to represent not only my country, but also the kingdom of God. What I have in Christ is far greater than what I have or don't have in life, McLaughlin continued by saying, I pray my journey may be a clear depiction of submission and obedience to God. And when it doesn't make sense, even when it doesn't seem possible, He will make a way out of no way, not for my own gratification, but for His glory. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? In another interview, McLaughlin said, I have never seen God fail in my life, in anyone's life for that matter. Just because I may not win every race or receive every one of my heart's desires does not mean God had failed. His will is perfect, and He has prepared for me a moment such as this, that I may use the gifts He has given me to point all the attention back to Him. 1 Corinthians 9, 25 And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they will do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. It is so encouraging to see a young believer like Sydney who has this perspective on life. No matter how incredibly talented she may be, and regardless of her gold medals at the Olympics, the most important part of her life continues to be God. Last November, Sydney got baptized in the ocean at a beach in Los Angeles. She said, For 21 years I was running from the greatest gift I could ever receive, and by His grace I have been saved. I no longer live, but Christ in me. My past has been made clean because of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Stephen Curry, another talented athlete, multiple NBA champion holder, and MVP, testified his life with Christ. Curry has been long regarded as the best shooter that the game of basketball has ever seen. When he captured the record for three-pointers, he wore a bracelet with the words, In Jesus' Name, I Play, printed on it. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Curry's personal journey with Christ began when he was at a youth service in the 8th grade. Curry famously landed on Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He has been writing a variation of each Bible verse along with his given WSC initials on his sneakers right before taking the court. Curry said, My mom challenged me to find a verse that I could rely on to give me strength give me a sense of purpose, and to remember who I was playing for every time I lace up my sneakers. During the pressures of competitions, performance, and training, these two athletes continue to entrust their lives to Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8 I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. The prizes gained from their earthly achievements are great, but they are significantly smaller than their heavenly reward. Every believer who submits his life to Jesus Christ is richly rewarded. 
That reward is worth so much more than the Olympic gold medal. It's so much greater than we could ever begin to imagine. Are you chasing this reward? Come on, let's dedicate our lives to Christ so that we all can receive an immortal crown for eternity.